As a medical student, the manual is really important. You don't have that experiential knowledge that most physicians do, so the manual supplements that. This is one of the core textbooks for medical knowledge and therapeutics while you're in the thick of things. You have a patient that you've worked up, you're not really sure how to manage them, you open up to page 346 and how to manage, you know, name X, Y, or Z, and you can figure out how to manage them step by step. I started to use the manual as a reference prior to starting each rotation, and I would read about, you know, that given uh, subspecialty, and then during the rotation, I'll refer to it um, often. The Washington Manual, it really provides you that resource that you can have right by your side. It also provides not only just the treatment and the testing for a certain topic, but also the pathophysiology of that topic as well. The nice thing about the manual is that it does give you those bite-sized summaries of uh, individual topics um, that when you do have 15-20 minutes, you can do a quick review. A great thing that we have now is a mobile app for the Washington Manual. I think having an actual paper copy and having that as a good resource for a kind of quick review of core concepts, uh, core ways to treat very common conditions and more rare conditions is really helpful. And then having the app and the ebook available helps you at the bedside, at work, for things on the go. The WashU Manual is the reference manual for internal medicine.